Welcome back. Those looking for relief from the cold in Beeville will find it at First United Methodist Church. A warming center was opened there last Sunday and is accessible 24 hours a day. Yeah, organizers say it'll be open until this Sunday at 8 a.m., depending on the weather at that time. They say people are welcome to come either short or long term. Our Brandon Schaap joins us in studio with more on the help people can get there. Brandon. Hey, good evening, Rudy and Leslie. Those running the warming center tell me that it's the volunteers and the community donations that make it all possible. And they're calling it a center instead of a shelter so that people who are homeless and those who aren't feel welcome to come and get the help they need. We have families come have a meal just to be warm and, and fellowship. And then we have those that wants to stay. We give them off them showers and we also offer them clothing and we offer them comfort. Richard Perry is helping run the warming center at First United Methodist Church. He's spending 24 hours there while it's open this week. And as someone who previously was homeless, he said it's important for the center to stay open so those without a home have a place to be during the cold weather. You just don't know until it hits you. And then when you see the love people pour out for you, it even encourages you more to try to find a way out of that. Perry said at least 35 homeless people come to the center every day. There were five volunteers helping him on Wednesday and others frequently asking how they can help. He said he appreciates anything they can do and knows others will show up to help those in need. It means a lot to know that I have, they've got my back and they love these people. Those without power or living at home by themselves are also coming to the center for help. Perry said it's important for the local community to help those who are homeless find a way out of that situation. He said he also doesn't want people to feel uncomfortable asking for help. Those that are going through something right now in their lives, then the door, they feel more comfortable. The doors are open. They want, I want everybody to feel welcome. That's why it's the most important. Now, if someone wants to help, Perry says that people can donate to the church, whether that's through money, clothes, or food. He says that it can all help to provide assistance during the extreme weather. Rudy, Leslie. All right, Brandon, thank you. What a wonderful.